Good morning friends and welcome to the second session of our physics classes. We are all physically locked down. Outside the corona is at large, but that's not going to stop us. I'll take you today to the virtual class of physics. So welcome to the virtual class and the lesson today is measurement and Vernier calipers. The lesson. Least count of a measuring instrument. It is the smallest measurement that can be taken accurately by that instrument. Example, on the meter scale or your plastic scale, the smallest division is 1 mm or 0.1 cm. So its least count is 1 mm or 0.1 cm. That means the distance which can be taken accurately by it is 1 mm or 0.1 cm. Now limitations of a meter scale. A meter scale can measure length correct up to one decimal place of a centimeter. For example, the length of an object is measured on a meter scale as shown below. We can see in the figure the length is a little more than 1.4 centimeter. Is it 1.46 centimeter or 1.47 centimeter? We cannot find the second decimal place with a meter scale but it becomes possible with a vernier calipers. Now vernier calipers. A vernier calipers is a device in which two scales are used. A main scale which is fixed and a vernier scale which slides on the main scale. We can see here the figure below. There is a stem behind that is for measuring the depth. The jaws on top used for measuring the inner diameter of a beaker. The jaws below used to measure the outer dimensions. There is a main scale you can see and a vernier scale. Now, the vernier scale slides on the main scale. The main scale is graduated in with one division on it equal to one millimeter. Generally, a vernier scale has ten divisions. Total length of 10 vernier scale divisions equals to value of 9 divisions of main scale. In general, n divisions on vernier scale equal to n minus 1 divisions on main scale. So least count of a vernier is given by the formula value of 1 main scale division minus value of 1 vernier scale division. Let value of 1 main scale division be x. Now here x may be millimeter or centimeter. Again, we know that n divisions on vernier scale equal to n minus 1 divisions on main scale. Therefore, one division of vernier scale is equal to n minus 1 divided by n divisions on main scale. So value of one vernier scale division will be n minus 1 divided by n into x. Therefore, least count is equal to x minus n, n minus 1 by n into x. Here the x stands for value of one main scale division while the second part n minus 1 by n into x stands for value of one one year scale division. So the least count on solving as you can see comes as x by n. And therefore, the least count of a vernier calipers that x by n stands for value of one main scale division divided by total number of divisions of vernier scale. This formula will use while solving the numericals. Now look at these two vernier calipers. In the first figure, the zero mark of vernier scale is at the edge where the jaws meet, while in the second figure, it is a little inside. Now, this makes no difference as long as both main scale and one year scale zeros coincide. <coughs> now we will come to zero error. There are two kinds of zero error in a one year calipers. One is a positive zero error. The second is a negative zero error. First, positive zero error. If on bringing the jaws together, the zero of the vernier scale is on the right of the zero of the main scale. The vernier scale has a positive zero error. Look at the figure. 
since one main scale division is 1 mm or 0.1 cm and there are 10 divisions on the vernier scale as we can see the least count according to formula will be 0.1 cm divided by 10 that is 0.01 cm the vernier scale division coinciding with main scale division here is the 8th division you can see it marked as red in the diagram so the positive zero error equals to plus that plus sign is very important inside bracket 8 into least count equals to plus 8 into 0 0.01 centimeter that gives plus 0 0.08 centimeter this is the positive zero error now negative zero error if on bringing the jaws together the zero of the one year scale is on the left of the zero of the main scale then it is called a negative zero error you can see here the jaws are closed in the figure and the zero of the one year is on the left side of the zero of the main scale again from the figure we see that here also the least count is 0 0.01 centimeter the one year scale division coinciding with the main scale division is the sixth division now you have to be careful in, in negative zero error we have to subtract the coinciding division from the total number of one year scale divisions that means you have to subtract that coinciding division 6 from 10 therefore the negative zero error is equal to minus inside bracket 10 minus 6 into least count that is equal to minus 4 into 0 0.01 centimeter that is equal to minus 0 0.04 centimeter remember to put the positive and negative signs now we know the zeros coinciding on closing the jaws that means when the zeros are coinciding on closing the jaws jaws the instrument has no zero error as shown in figure below here the zeros are coinciding on both the scale it has no zero error now instrument may either have no zero error or it may have negative zero error or it may have a positive zero error now let us look at the figure below and try to understand how to use a one year calipers look at the figure a metal sphere is put between the jaws now look at the brown line many children confuse that as the zero mark the edge of the one year scale do, do not take reading from here see where the zero of the one year is it is a little inside and here the zero of the one year is ahead of five divisions on the main scale one two three four five see carefully and this five division is equal to five millimeter or 0 0.5 centimeter on main scale now look at the green line that is the one year division coinciding with any of the main scale division that is 1 2 3 4 5 6 now we here we have to find the least count one year scale reading main scale reading and the observed reading first the least count according to formula value of one main scale division divided by number of divisions on one year scale that is equal to 1 millimeter divided by 10 that is 0 0.1 millimeter or 0 0.01 centimeter now main scale reading as we have seen in the figure look at the red arrow the zero of the one year is ahead of the fifth division on the main scale so the main scale reading is 5 millimeter or 0 0.5 centimeter one year scale reading the coinciding division is the sixth division now that is multiplied with the least count so that is 6 into 0 0.01 centimeter that is 0 0.06 centimeter so the observed reading main scale reading, reading plus one year scale reading gives 0 0.5 centimeter plus 0 0.06 centimeter that is 0 0.56 centimeter this is the observed reading now suppose if this instrument had no zero error in that case the observed reading will be the correct diameter of the sphere that is 0 0.56 centimeter but suppose the instrument had a positive zero error of what of sorry plus 0 0.08 centimeter then the correct diameter would be observed reading minus 
zero error with proper sign remember with proper sign so the correct reading is 0.56 cm minus inside bracket plus 0.08 cm that gives 0.48 cm so that becomes the correct reading in this case now again suppose if the instrument had a negative zero error instead of positive a negative zero error of minus 0.04 cm then the correct reading will be 0.56 cm minus again inside bracket minus 0.04 cm now both the minus signs together become plus and we get 0.60 cm now something important here here we have written 0.60 cm and not 0.6 cm because this vernier calipers gives a reading correct up to two decimal places in centimeter so it is necessary to show both the decimal places now look at these two figures the inside jaws are used to measure the internal diameter of a beaker etc while the metal strip at the back is used to measure the depth of a beaker etc now try to solve these questions the first one a stopwatch has 10 divisions graduated between the 0 and 5 second mark what is its least count now the 5 seconds are divided into 10 parts so the smallest part will be 5 divided by 10 that will be 0 0.5 second this one I solved for you second one a vernier has 10 divisions and they are equal to 9 divisions of main scale in length if the main scale is calibrated in millimeter what is its least count I think all of you can solve this third a microscope is provided with a main scale graduated with 20 divisions in 1 centimeter that means 1 centimeter is divided into 20 parts so one small division will be 1 divided by 20 you can calculate and the one year scale with 25 divisions on it coinciding with 24 divisions of main scale now that is natural in all one year calipers the one year scale divisions total will coincide with one division less on the main scale now find the least count of the microscope now you have the total number of one year scale divisions that is 25 divisions you have to find the value of one main scale division and you can calculate the least count third so we have seen third now fourth a boy uses a vernier calipers to measure the thickness of his pencil he measures it to be 1.4 millimeter if the zero error of the vernier calipers is plus 0.02 centimeter what is the correct thickness of the pencil now here be careful look at the units one is in millimeter other is in centimeter now convert the unit into similar and then solve it fifth a one year calipers has its main scale graduated in millimeter and 10 divisions on its one year scale are equal to sorry equal in length to 9 millimeter when the two jaws are in contact the zero of one year scale is ahead of zero of the main scale and the third division of the one year scale coincides with the main scale division now here there is a zero error find the least count and the zero error of the one year calipers now solve these questions that is all for today till we meet again take care listen well do your homework take care of yourself and wash your hands with soap nicely when you come from outside till then goodbye we'll meet soon